Not yet. It's not showing up in the page yet. If I just low and do another Okay, video. it's I see it now. T okay. Take a while. Mo Hustler is live now. What's up? Those of you guys who join our stock market. Okay, I see it. All right, all right. Let me uh, let me do a few shares here. Get it known. <clears throat> so you got to work, huh? Chua? Uh, yeah, I just got to got to work. Ate a little something, and then uh, started uh, just surfing the web, looking for stocks. And then you guys came on. That's pretty much it. What do you do for work, man? I am a software developer, so I create a lot of web applications. Yeah. A lot of desktop web, web applications, and uh, now we're kind of moving towards the mobile platform, so I'm learning some things for that. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. What's, what's with you? You still do, like, competition? Gun competitions? Uh, no, not anymore. I don't have time anymore because you really have to, like, take the whole weekend off and travel and do all that, so I figure I'd rather just try to focus on making some some money first and then i can enjoy my hobbies later <laughs> <laughs> gotcha gotcha so don't you guys join uh <clears throat> thanks for joining we're uh we're setting up here with today we're going to talk a little bit about how these guys are making money on the stock market so uh let us know where you guys are coming from um share if we can we got these uh Real Mong hustlers on here that we're gonna introduce to you guys. I think we dropped one. Uh, George just dropped. Hopefully, he'll jump back in. Yeah. I'm still trying to get all you guys situated here. I'm trying to tag and it's it be thing. Okay. Go see if he's joined back. There you go. Mm -hmm. There are you coming back. There you oh, go. Yeah, that's fine. So we got four fees going on. That's probably why. <laughs> okay. So uh, we'll give a few minutes. And we got some people joining us. <clears throat> toilet paper. Yang. <laughs> he says toilet paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got anything? This is what I'm using. No. Yeah. Uh, Key, what's up, man? Key, uh, my, what's up? Which stock to buy now? She was no, what stocks to buy now? There go these guys are gonna let you know. That's one. That's part of the show. So, stay tuned. Uh, oh, that's Key again. So, Key, aren't you supposed to be working, Key? There you go. Buy tons of Scott's adjustment rice stocks. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna go live here in about a minute. So those of you guys who have questions, uh, <clears throat> post your comments on the stock market. These guys the stock market. all the time. Uh, I hear a echo here. Hello, hello. Okay. You still hear the echo? So anyways, not anymore. Uh, yeah, this looks better. So yeah, those of you, uh, those of you guys who want to jump in the stock market, these are the guys who ask. Because these guys are always, even in the middle of the night, you guys are always chatting on that chat group, guys. Man, I have to mute you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Four o'clock in the morning, we're still chatting. <laughs> yep. Jeez. So, like, I mean, these guys are always trading. So you guys have any questions with the stock market, these guys are, are the guys who ask. So we'll give about uh right now 30 seconds and we'll start the show uh we got anybody else from a different state other than california oh yeah minnesota right here thanks uh uh shown to man i can never say that i can never really read mong with that word <laughs> what is that t-o-o-j how do you guys say that you know that uh uh the T O O J, a hey, mong. Tong. J. Tong. Oh, tong. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Is it tong or tong? Tong. 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 All right. 
All right, Tong from uh, Minnesota. Nice of you guys to join. Let's see, we got about 34 people here joining, you guys. It's Tong. <laughs> you say it's Tong. Tong. Tong in, in, uh, for in, in America, right? In English way is Tong. In English, English Tong, yeah. <laughs> tong, yeah. <laughs> Mississippi in the house. What's up, Mississippi? So, Soden? Yeah. Soden. Dan. Okay. All right. All right. So, uh, man, let me find out what show, man. I'm, I'm like really, I'm really uh, slacking right here. Let me find out what show we're at. Um, <clears throat> quickly, guys, get in. Let us know where you guys are from. Why I find out what show we're on. The last show was with uh, Walt from uh, Mulan. Did you guys see that show? Yeah, I watched a little bit of it, but fourteen. It was at midnight, so I kind of went to sleep. <laughs> yeah, he's in California. That's probably fine. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're show fifteen. So, so welcome guys to uh, Mo Hustler Show fifteen. Um, appreciate you guys coming here. Um, share your info with us. Um, we know that start the stock market uh, just recently what dropped three thousand. I think today three thousand last week, right? So it's, was it three thousand last week? So then, if that's three thousand last week. That's two thousand today, right? So that's six thousand points. Is that right? Dramatically. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Dramatically. Today alone, the mark, the uh, the Dow dropped to more than three thousand, but it it actually came up a little bit to close slightly above three thousand. Yeah, so that's yep. three. That's six thousand in like two weeks, right? Nine thousand. Nine. Yeah. From the first drop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nine thousand. It was at twenty-nine thousand like a month ago. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's oh, almost thirty yeah. percent. Holy cow! So, uh, you say thirty percent, huh? Thirty percent. Over thirty percent. Over thirty percent. Was that almost? So, almost. So. Those of you guys who just joined, uh, we're here to talk about the stock market, how these guys are making money with the stock market. Um, now, uh, I know we, we just you just said, uh, John Sang just said that we dropped 30%. Is that considered a correction or like, what, what do you guys call that? A, a crash or? Uh, that would that would put us in a bear market. Uh, okay. Correction is usually around 10%. Oh, wow. 20 okay. is bear market territory. Okay. So... We're in a bear market territory right here. So I have three of these experts here. You know, real Mo hustlers from, uh, what, what group is that? The, the um, Mo investors community, right? Right, which is Zong is part of the, the admin for that group. Uh, they got about six members in here. They're really active traders. Um, and and uh, let me introduce these guys, right? Zong Seng, Zong Seng is uh, uh, someone, me? yeah, great. Um, yeah, raise your hands. <laughs> You're right. So he was with us on, on the last few uh, episodes, right? Where I think what was it? You you made what 100k? I, I couldn't remember. Like close to like um, that was in that was toward the end of 2018 when I put a hundred dollars in there in the beginning of 2018, and then for some for some uh, pure dumb luck, half of the time there. As a beginner at the time, uh, by the end of 2018, uh, I capped about 103. But then, think, think to the platform, it uh, wasn't allowing me to sell fast enough, yeah. and I was able to close at 83. 83,000 guys, so yeah. 100 to 83,000. <laughs> I laugh every time. <laughs> That's like crazy money. Anyway, so uh, Zong Sang uh, is joining us today. On he's going to share us uh, what he's doing. Uh, Zong from the the Hong Investors Group uh, community, right? Yep. So um, there's there's a Facebook group, right? Zong on it. Uh, yeah, our, our Facebook group is uh, Hmong Investors Community, and you, you know if you type that in, it should pop up. <clears throat> uh, just you know, come join us, and then you know even the uh, you know, beginners, you can come in and, you know, just learn how to start, you know, we'll yeah. start you off, uh, slow. Yeah. And you know, no, no, uh, no charging, right? 
No, no, no. No charging. No experience needed. <laughs> gotcha. There we go. There you go. So <clears throat> join the group, guys. So, uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, info in there. Uh, and we got uh, Chua, right? Chua. Yes. Chua so from, he's, yeah, where are you from? From Fresno here. All right. And, uh, I'm, I'm the, the newest trader in this group i started in uh january yeah of this year yeah and went through some ups and downs learned a bunch of a bunch of important lessons and just want to come and share my lessons with you guys now guys he's got an amazing story where he lost thirty thousand. <laughs> yep the very first month the very the first month so so well if you guys stick tuned we'll we'll finish out how he what he did afterwards yeah. <laughs> so so yeah so um uh i don't know i mean do it's let's do like a quick intro um just you know don't say where are you from uh i think wasa right yes uh from wasa wisconsin okay just uh can you do just a quick intro about yourself i mean i'm, I'm sure they can dig up that other okay. video um cool or i'm don't sing i'm from wasa wisconsin and I have been with the Hmong investor community for a little bit more than three years now. Gotcha. Cool, cool. So how long have you been trading, though? Um, before that, I've been uh, learning how to and have been on the market off and on probably three years prior to. Gotcha. Three years, man. It took 100 to 80, 82, 83,000. Wow. <laughs> That's impressive, yeah. That's a lot of dedication right there <laughs> for sure crazy all right zong uh can we do a little intro about you uh yeah i live in florida and uh i've been trading since the last crash of uh, 2008. um you know i thought that was a great time to get in because everything was low and then it's it's come full circle from one yeah. crash to another <laughs> <laughs> so anybody if, if you're thinking of getting in you know these next couple months is probably going to be, you know, a couple months to the end of the year is probably going to be a good time to start looking at the companies that you want to get into. Yeah, it's, it's like exciting times, right? Because like during that last crash, was, was it really exciting? I mean, if you're young, it's exciting. If you're about to retire, it's not so exciting. So <laughs> you got to take it, you know, exactly. you know <laughs> where you are. So. Are you holding your breath? Yeah. <laughs> but you could make money. Or losing a lot of money really quick, <clears throat> right? And that's kind of what we're going to talk today. And then, and uh, Chua, so uh, can you a little intro about you? Yeah, so uh, I'm Chua again. I'm from Fresno. Um, I've been kind of playing around with the stock market since uh, my college years, but I never really got like super dedicated or super like into it. I would learn a couple little things and and uh, experiment a couple months lose and just give up for a little bit and come back so i kind of dabbled in it for, for a little bit um but without the right guidance without the right resources you kind of just get lost and then go away a little bit and then come back when something happens again yeah so this year i decided to just um i saved some money the past couple of years and i just and i decided to just go go in depth and start really learning it because i figured um it's a good time i have i have the money now and i also have some time to kind of learn the markets so i jumped in this year and, and, and i think it was a, a just a fortunate t timing because i came in right when the market started like uh going one direction yeah so for a newer for a new trader you don't have to guess too much you kind of just pretty much pick something in that direction and and you know gotcha make some profit so Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Yep. All right. <clears throat> so, so the state where we're at right now, what do you guys think? Like what's, where's the market heading? Where, where, I mean, I, I guess, uh, don't say you're like right next to me. So I guess we'll start with you. What, I mean, just your thoughts. What do you think? Just your thoughts. Well, I, I think that, um, we are at a point where, um, the virus, is hitting headline every five minutes or so and it's it's getting escalated sooner than um sometimes you're going to you're going to take a walk and come back and you have three four or five do slash so i think i think that um 
we are going to get worse before we get better. How much worse? I'm not sure. I do not know. But I think that we <clears throat> we will probably see um, more cases of the viruses. We'll probably see more situation where uh, companies are being affected by um, schools and maybe states and countries nowadays are closing borders. Um, many companies, especially the multinational companies, will be affected by uh, this disease. And uh, uh, we will probably see uh, a little bit of headwind before we... Um, gotcha. So you're seeing pretty much you're saying it's your your direction is down. That's what kind of what you're saying, right? And for now, yes. For now, it's down. All right, and Zong, what do you? What do you? What is your projection? I mean, I think we're just at the beginning of the. Oh. You know, beginning. <laughs> I mean, we're just at the beginning of the the big market crash. You know, this the coronavirus just kind of kind of pushed it kind of pushed it in the right direction. Yeah. And then the oil, the oil, uh, the oil trade war with uh, Saudi Arabia and uh, Russia, kind of a one, two punch. Yeah. So that kind of fueled it, but it, it was brewing for a long time, you know, cause the stock prices and the company profits were, you know, way, you know, above each other. So uh, right now, I mean, if you think about it, these companies were making so much money, but we're only like a month, a month in, and they're already asking for bailout. So it was a lot of a lot of money mismanagement. I think. Oh man! So they you're so you're saying month, yeah, you know. That, yeah. So like you're right. If we're already a month in, they're we're they're already infusing money and and doing all this kind of stuff. So that's they they already know it's it's not it's not going well, kind of. Yeah. That's what I, think. I mean, the best companies that are going to survive, I mean, Facebook, Apple, they, they all got a lot of cash. So I think, I think they're, they can withstand this, but, uh, any of those, uh, airlines, cruise lines, yeah. um, a lot of the, the shale companies, I mean, with oil at this level, they're, they're, they're going to go bankrupt. <laughs> it doesn't come up quick. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. All right, and and Chua, I know you're the you're the newbie, right? So I mean, what are yep. you you just following these guys, or you're like, all right, you kind of have the same, uh, you know, uh, idea or same same thoughts? Yeah, same thoughts. Um, like like Zhong mentioned, like I think we're just starting because it, I think the all the like the market downtrend like really really started happening just two weeks ago, I think, right? yeah early early march right when i saw all my calls get get killed that's when i realized that the the news <laughs> is really affecting the market so and then now we've just started to see uh the effects from all the trade blocks and all the you know the uh, all the different companies trying to like really um uh, try to salvage all their all their uh, reputations and everything so i, I'm, I think i think jong is correct um we're definitely just starting to see the effects of this. Gotcha. Uh, and Ooh, so man. the right time to kind of jump in too, to, to really just learn and start trading. So you guys are saying, is this just starting then? What, what, do you, what should people do? What do you guys, I mean, do you guys think people should just bail out of their, get out of their foreign yeah. K's and stuff like that? Or, or just hang on tight or, I mean, this is just any, any one of you guys at this point. I mean, if you have time, just hang on tight. I mean, unless you own some airline stocks, <laughs> you know, who knows what's going to happen. They may get a bailout and still file bankruptcy. Uh, but, uh, I mean, just, just hold on tight right now. I mean, I think we, we, we missed the chance to, uh, you know, to hedge it. When that first drop, you know, you, you need to hedge it up there. But now it's kind of... Uh, a little late, but you can still hedge it if you want. You know, you, uh, just if you got the money to hedge, then hedge it. If not, uh, just hold on tight. You know, market market does this; it, it goes down, they come back. Uh, you know, it may take a couple years, but uh, eventually it may come back if your company survives. Wow, 
So, so those of you guys who just joined, we're talking about the stock market. We got three of these home hustlers from uh, the Mo Investors Community Group. Uh, these guys are active traders. So if you guys have any questions, post your comments, uh, say hi, let us know where you guys are from so we know where uh, you guys are at. Uh, but if you have any questions about the stock market, let, let us know, we'll ask these guys, because these guys, uh, I think these guys are professionals to me, because they're, they're always trading. Um, but um, so the follow-up question to that, uh, for what I just asked is that, all right, so we're down about 30 percent do you do you think we might go down to 50 percent more and that's a possibility um we're just gonna have to see what they do i mean you see the fed trying to correct you know trying to inject money in and trying to save the market and that's not helping at all so uh, we'll, we'll have to see this next coming up you know two weeks here uh, yeah see how this virus things you know if it, if it keeps shutting down you know businesses airports uh restaurants now bars schools are <laughs> shut down so it's it's uh, uh cities are becoming ghost towns so just to get an idea when did they inject that or do that package was it was it uh was it t today or was it this weekend right yeah they, they're they're doing 1.5 trillion uh, friday? Last, friday? last friday i think yeah is it last friday yeah this past friday and, it, and they were doing some emergency i think this morning or last night yeah. yeah and that still didn't move the market right was it down on friday i think it was down on friday too wasn't it uh, it actually came up because uh oh i think a uh, trump speech so push it up but it, it's more of a short covering towards the end of the weekend yeah you know plus a little bit of bull you know i guess trapping <laughs> but but uh yep. you know at the end of the week a lot of people a lot of stuff happens people close their positions um some hedge funds get liquidated you know i think we've got three so far that got liquidated so that, uh -huh. that kind yeah, of yeah. affected the market a little bit i uh, yeah we earlier today, earlier today i also do some comparison um with the volatility index and the uh, uh, uh the s p 500 of today for the last the last several days compared to 2008 2009 and i think that this might be just the first wave uh, having thinking having thought back to 2007 2008 2009 when lehman brothers and um, other companies are are having some issues and that the federal government had injected uh, some money into the system um, that was um, that wasn't really helping anything it was actually fueling fueling the fire to push the market down further and we have just begun seeing it and we haven't we haven't even seen a company that that is filed in bankruptcy or going belly up like what we have seen Lehman Brothers back in 2008 2009 mm -hmm. um, today so um, I think that you know uh, being being down almost 30 percent for the last two and a half weeks uh, we will probably see more uh, assuming that we are assuming that this bear market is leading into a recession okay I think we're already in recession, right? Is that is that uh, right? No, it's it's a couple quarters of negative uh, growth. I think it's like two quarters. I re I don't remember the last quarter, uh, but I think it's only two quarters if we're in recession. But it doesn't sound like it's going that well. All right, so so you guys kind of say you you guys kind of consensus. You guys kind of like saying yeah, we might go go down more, right? Yeah. So. Yeah, I kind of agree with that too. Mm -hmm. um, so, <clears throat> uh, those of you guys who join, let us know what questions you got. I got a few questions here. Uh, let us know where you guys are from. I'll, I'll give you guys a shout out. Um, see, like Johnny, some from Minnesota. Uh, Mai is from New York City. Um, so, first question is: there was, a, there was a question here. Is what are your all trading styles? All right, let's start with that. All right. <laughs> From Dylan, 
So, uh, so well, saying, do you me, I think you have options, right? For me, um, most of my funds are now in cash. So I do the most simple thing. I, uh, uh, what I refer to as play dead. Um, I just hoard a lot of cash right now. <laughs> and just 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 do some with futures and uh, the ETF for the S&P 500, 500 uh, index. That's really all that I am doing at this moment. But I know that there are other people who are doing um, specific stocks, which are doing really well. Okay. But like style, like you're 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 more short term or long term or I think um, you're like short term, right? I pro probably a swing more swing for me. I uh, I usually do one or two weeks ahead, and when the opportunity comes, I just sell. Okay. Maybe maybe a couple hours, maybe a couple of days, maybe three four days, uh, whenever the whenever <laughs> the opportunity comes. Yeah. Gotcha. And what about you, Zong? What do you, what do you, uh, uh depending on the market, you know, if, uh, right now the market's, it's, it's moving really fast, you know, uh, so right now I, I scalp, right? I'll scalp up during the day, you know, scalp up or down. What, yeah. what is that? What does that mean, scalp? Like, for, the, it, for the guys, going to a position to only hold it for, you know, a, you know, sometimes, you know, a minute to 10 minutes to, you know, 15 minutes at the most. Oh, wow. So is there a certain time or day that you do that? Or is it like you just feel like it's the low or I mean, I, I, depending, I, I kind of watch price action, see how the stock is moving. I let it, I let it have a floor, you know, and then and I let it see how high it can go. And then I'll trade in between there. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. And, uh, but what's what, like, that's majority of your style, right? Just, just a scalp, right? Uh, depending on the market like right now you can scalp really really well because because of the speed of the, the market yeah so like it, usually if you're you're doing uh the, the, the index buy you know in normal times you you in a day you may get one percent but now you can get two three percent like uh, move on spy in, in half a day or so so when you i mean when you start the day do, would you what do you do do you like I mean, this kind of goes for all you guys. Like, what do you when you look when you start the day? Do you go? Let's see what happens the first thirty minutes, or what do you guys just like just go in and say, "Hey, I want to start." <laughs> yeah, I, I usually let it go the first thirty minutes because it's very you, you don't know direction. Okay. So I kind of let it, you know, slow down and show me which direction it's trying to go. And okay. Then I'll, 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 I'll pop that direction. All right. So that's scalping right there. So okay. Uh, uh, Chua, what are you winning? Do you have a certain style that you do, or? Yeah, so right now, right now, I'm, I'm scalping a lot too because, like John mentioned, the market is moving one direction and moving very quick and very fast. So I'm able to get in now really quickly. And for a newbie like myself, it's easier because I don't have to to you know like look at all these charts and kind of like and 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 think of all the outside external factors. I just look at the momentum. If it's moving really quick in one direction, I get in, play a big position, make a couple percent and just get out before, you know, like it changes direction. So that's my strategy right now. What you, what, what you mentioned before was how I lost a lot of money when I first started. <laughs> you, see, you see the movements, right? Yeah, yeah. You get excited, you're like, okay, I can make a lot of money if I just put it in and it moves uh -huh. in that direction. But let's, start, let's go ahead and ex let's start with that story, all right? Okay, so, yeah. okay, so. So I mean we, we have a huge amount of uh, audience right now. So okay. so let's so we got this newbie guy, right? Newbie. Yeah. Guy. Sorry man, I want to call you a newbie. <laughs> no, I am a newbie. I started like Jan the, like the second week of January. Okay. So I barely started learning. Um and shout out to Dylan. He was the first guy that like really kind of taught me, like give me the blueprint of how to like look at the market a certain way. Um taught me some of the, the really high level concepts of tra of trading and I learned a lot of uh, put spreads and, and debit spreads from him. And then when the market started going towards a downtrend, that's when I switched over and I started learning more about scalping because I figured I can make money faster that way. Yeah. But my biggest mistake, I made like all the rookie mistakes in the book. Like I didn't manage my risk. 
I got emotionally attached to to you know some of the plays that I made because the position was so big and you know, like I I put too much money in there. So when it goes down, I start waiting for it to come back because I, I want to recoup my money, you know. But if I do that, um, sometimes the market starts moving farther and farther away. Yeah. And then like, it gets to a point where I'm like, okay, screw it. I'm already in this deep. I'm just going to sit and pray and wait for it to bounce back. And it never does. So that's how I lost like a, a lot of money, like right away, like from the, uh, the very first month. And these guys, they, they've always tried to instill that in my mind, like risk management, risk management. But you know, when you're young and you're new, yeah. you, get, uh, you, you get too excited, I guess. You get too hyped, too excited. And you see a lot of the, uh, the better uh, or the more experienced traders do it. And it seems so easy for them to just make that money real quick. And then I get caught up in that. And I, I try to do the same thing without a lot of uh, experience, without a lot of knowledge. So that's how can I... We, so can we throw some numbers at it, right? I mean, are you, are you yeah. okay with some numbers? So I think Tesla was like the the, the biggest thing oh, when, I, right how, when I joined. How big was your account? So okay. right when I started, I put like 25000 in my account because I wanted to have... Um, the day trade, the limited day trade. Oh, so okay. You have twenty five thousand in your account. Yeah. Otherwise, you're re you're restricted to only three day trades per like uh five okay. running guys. What if you drop below that? What if you drop below that? Then 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 you are uh, limited. Yeah, you, you you get put on uh okay uh, day trade. So that was the minimum. That was the minimum. So you can, you, you're hoping it goes up and then you can day trade, right? So 25. Yeah, so right away, I lost and I had to kind of pull more money in. Like every couple of days, I'll be like, okay, I got to pull more, put another 5,000 in. Gotcha. Just to kind of stay above the, the $25,000 limit. So 25,000. And then what happened? You, you, you traded um, Tesla? Right? I, got some, I got some pretty good signals from Dylan and I started following that and I was making pretty good money. Like, three four hundred dollars a day real quick and then i wanted like bigger positions because i was like okay i want i want to make more for my time now so i started taking bigger positions yeah and that's when like i started uh running into some issues where um i held on to to the positions too long um what were the positions what was the position like what did you jump what did you jump so the first the first big play was tesla because at that right when i joined uh the yeah. group Tesla was going up. I think right yeah. when I joined, it was like at 250 and they climbed up like within a couple of weeks, it went up to like 500. Can't remember oh, wow. exactly, but it shot up pretty quick. And then, you know, like everybody got hyped and everybody wanted to like jump on the Tesla. The yeah, Tesla. But how did you buy it? Is it, is it options, stocks or? Uh, at first I bought uh, uh, just uh, common stocks. Okay. And Dang. I think I bought it at 500 and it went up to 700. Wow. Okay. I think I bought only like ten thousand dollars worth, so I made like maybe a couple thousand, and then okay. I started uh, I started to play around with options a little bit because I figured that's what I can make more money. Yeah. So that's when I started like uh, playing really big position. The biggest position I played was like uh, twelve thousand dollars. In options. In, op in options or in stock. In, in options. Yeah. So okay. I made a call. I think an option call. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah and then uh what That's happened like a honda civic bro you're, you're yeah yeah a no, honda so civic. Like, before i mentioned i made all the rookie mistakes in the book and yeah yeah besides um the emotional aspect of it and um um not risking my not managing my risk well i also didn't know the app really well like the robin hood app yeah because when the prices drop you have to and, and, and if you want to sell you have to uh, put in a price that's lower than the asking price and I, yeah. I kept putting just the price that they're asking for uh -huh. so I couldn't sell and then when the market moves if you don't sell at that price it, the price jumps down and you have to kind of go to the app cancel come back in and do it again so but by, by, by the time you do all that the price is going down pretty quick up or down you know it's, it's it moves pretty quick yeah and so that's how I lost that the, the first big play the Tesla play I held on to like the last like 30 minutes of the day yeah and then I was trying to sell when I was up like three, four thousand. I couldn't sell. And then the price went all the way down to the point where I became neg I went to the negative. Oh. And then when I went to the negative, 
I was all within. This is all within that one day. You 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 were up and then lost it at, yeah, at the end of the day. At the end of the day, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I didn't lose it at the end of the day, but then I just decided to hold it over the weekend. It was like a Friday. Okay. So I was like, you know, I'm 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 in the red already. Tesla can bounce back at any time, so I'm just gonna hold on to it and hope that it comes back. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so so then. That was it. That was the loss, right? How much? How much was that loss? Yeah, that was like a twelve thousand dollar loss. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So, and then what happened, right? So then, and then Monday rolls around, the price dropped, and I already lost like a chunk of my money. So I was like, you know what? It, I already lost. I'm just, I'm just gonna wait it out. <laughs> Screw it. <laughs> I could, I could still could have save a couple thousand, you know. But at that point, I'm like, I already lost ten. What's another two? Maybe I can get lucky because Tesla bounces around so much that. I might get lucky and it might come back. Yeah. So but then no, so you lost back. more after that, right? Yeah. And then after that, the, the, the options uh, expired and then I just lost that. Oh, um, you yeah. lost it through expiration. You just can't let it go. I just gotcha. let it go. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. So tell me what, what was going through your head that weekend? <laughs> that weekend, I was just man to be honest i was just like I, I was looking at news trying to try to get some some news that would kind of you know um influence the stock to go in the direction that i want yeah but because the market was closed you, you didn't really know and plus on top of that like I, I was using robin hood and so you can't really see the after hours movement yeah. so i didn't know what was going on i didn't know that you can go to uh think or swim and see the live after hours uh-huh yeah like totally newbie like i didn't know what was going on so i was just kind of sitting there waiting for monday to open up <laughs> you know but wow. yeah at the time I, I did regret a lot i was like oh crap like i should have just cut my loss because after I, I after i held through the after hours i started talking to some of the um more experienced guys and they're like yeah it's, it's usually very risky holding over, uh, over the weekend because anything can happen yeah and they started telling me some of the dangers and the risks of it and that's when it hit me like okay yeah it's it wasn't worth it it was a, it was a bad risk gotcha yeah so then how did you recover so that was the first big loss but i still didn't really learn too much i, I still tried to recoup and play bigger positions too like yeah. next i started playing uh spy and apple those are the two two other big ones that i lost spy i lost like two three times because i was trying to scalp that's when i started to switch strategy to scalping yeah and because I didn't have any uh, chart, charts or uh, technical analysis to help me out, I was entering at the wrong time, exiting at the wrong time. I, I still remember uh, one day I exited or I, I entered right when um, I think SPY was already like past the point of, of, of um, what is it? I forgot what the word was, but it, it really kind of like went up like two, three percent. So it was already too late for me to enter. Mm -hmm. but i saw i saw the movement so i was like, okay i'm gonna follow but by that yeah. time like, i jumped in and like within a few seconds it just started going the opposite way so i started losing <laughs> and then as soon as I, it started going the opposite yeah. way you know because i took such a large position i bought like maybe 20 yeah. options which is like 10 12 000 too yeah and as soon as it moves a, a couple percent it was a couple already a couple thousand so i, I sold as soon as i sold it started going back the other direction i was like shit. so i went back in again and I, I went that I did that a couple of times. The next thing you know, I'm like, oh my god, like I really lost like half my money. <laughs> you know what I mean? So you took so, your account from twenty five thousand to like thirteen thousand, and that's yeah, when so, you. All so, right. so the, the the Tesla play after I lost, I put more money into to make sure that I was above twenty five. Oh my and, gosh! Yeah, so, so yeah. yeah, So you put like another thirteen thousand. Yeah, so I put another thirteen just to make sure I'm above. So now you're like, what yeah. is that? Eight. 20 38,000 into it now yeah right? so like all right i mean i mean i don't know uh so saying what do you think is that maybe uh i think we all make that very same mistake you did the same mistake too we all make that very same mistake yeah you know? <laughs> these, these guys always stress like risk management and playing yeah. small so you kind of get used to it yeah and I, I i can't stress that enough either that's so important like you gotta have that experience you gotta go through it and it's better to kind of go learn it at a small scale than than in a than, than a bigger scale and and you know and 
Take but don't think, but but don't think you went all in. You you didn't. <laughs> don't think they went all in. Yeah, don't think you just went all in. You're just like, okay, wait, was that a different scenario or was it just like it very much the same scenario? First of all, I use Robin Hood, right? Yeah, yep. same thing as Chua using Robin Hood. So Robin Hood does not have market sales; it has limit sales, and that means that. If if you if you do market sales, whatever that's available on the market, it sells for you. But if if you only have limit sell and the thing flies so fast, the price move back and forth so very fast. And if it, the price move against you, then you can't sell. And that's exactly what happened to me when I had that 103k, and finally was all sold to to. 83k. I mean, you're talking about twenty thousand dollars in what five minutes? Oh, so, yeah. So that was that was the very same mistake that using Robinhood. the The other mistake, and Chua talked about it too, is that um, often, oftentimes, when you see the stock move up, and you you think that uh, you just tag along, right? But when you when you tag along, it doesn't go the same way that you want it to go. It goes against you. It goes to the opposite way, and you get out, and it it just turn it right back and to, to to the same direction that you had had gotten in. It it happened to me last Friday. <laughs> <laughs> it happened to me a couple of days ago, and so yeah. I, I I would just I just throw my hands up in the air. Um, I think I think that Zhang and I talked about it afterward. After the market closed, and and I said, you know what, I I was in the right direction. It it um, it had a fake on me. Uh, it it faked me. It it went down. So I thought it was gonna crash after right after Trump's speech. Right, I, I thought it was gonna crash because it 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 moved in so fast, yeah. and I exited the market losing about two thousand mm-hmm. uh, dollars, and two minutes later it shoot right back shoot right back up through the sky. So I just sit and watch. At that point, I don't do anything anymore. I don't follow anymore. I just watch. <laughs> All right. So, so let's go back to the story. So, so I know you got your account back to positive again, right? Uh, Chua. Yep. Right. So, how, how did you how did you do it again? How how did you get back to positive again? Let's see. And, and this is all within what one month time period, right? Yeah, yeah, within one month. I I had some wins too, but they were smaller than my losses. So that was yeah. the reason why, like, I kept going down okay because so, that, was, that was my mistake like i would i think I, at that point i was chasing my money you know so I, I would play i would i would play play it safe with a couple of spreads and make like maybe a couple thousand and then i'm like, okay I, i'm getting the hang of it again so i'm gonna play another big position when i see um you know some like a trend then i just i jump in and i try to do it but 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 my my big mistake was that i didn't know i didn't have a plan like an exit plan my, I, I was always thinking like I'm gonna go in, win big, and then and then come out. Yeah. I, I didn't think about the losses. I was just thinking, okay, since it's going one direction, I'm gonna jump in, make a couple percent, and then jump out. And if I don't make that percent and I go red, then I, I then I hang on too long. Gotcha. That, that was my biggest mistake. I didn't have an exit plan. I didn't have like a um like a stop loss. So, but what 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 like what strategy or what stock got you back to positive? The start that got positive was spy again. Okay, yeah. so you went. I think you mentioned earlier where you, were, you went. You switched your strategy to scalping, right? Yes, to scalping. And then you just went all. You just scalped spy back to positive. Yes, I scalped spy. I had a couple of really good, um, lucky scalps too, like uh, oil. A couple of the guys like gave me some yeah. uh, tips on 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 oil when it was going down. Yeah. So I bought some puts on oxy. And you I held it. Man, you just got a shout out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ati, Ati was the one that gave me that the, the big uh, signal. He was yeah. Like, yeah going because he he plays he plays oil and gold. So he was like, okay, oil is going down. I think this this stock is gonna like really plummet because yeah. of the price war between Iraq and uh, Russia. So I did some research. I'm like, okay, I think he's I think he's 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 onto something. So I took a big position. I think I bought like uh, ten thousand dollars worth of put options too. Then I held it over the weekend, came and then I made like close to eighty percent. I made like eight grand on that, I think. Yeah. So that was like the start. Like right right when the market started crashing. Yeah. 
uh, or, or started going towards like a really bearish uh, trend. That's when I started like to just scalp like puts. I didn't do any calls anymore. I just started doing puts. Like I saw companies that I knew were, were going to be affected by the coronavirus. Yeah. And I just bought puts, like big positions on puts. Okay. So I think I got really lucky too because it was like bearish, you know, so I couldn't go wrong. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So I was making like, uh, I was scalping two, three thousand a day. And then some some stocks that would some options that would hold overnight and make another like seven eight thousand. So I started adding up real quick. Then before wow. I knew, I was back in the positive, and I was like, "Oh shit, okay, this it's going good." And then when that happened, I started to um, once you have enough experience and enough screen time, you yeah. do control your emotions a lot better. Yeah. So I would see like stocks like being super active, and I'm, I'm I, I would wait. And on top of that, like I had a couple of sessions with Zong too. So I don't want to tell get the secret out, but Zong has like some pretty good charts that like, like that kind of help you enter and exit really, really, really on point. Gotcha. You know, well, we'll get to that. Yeah, we'll get to that in a bit. Uh, yeah, so I'll just talk a little bit more about that. But I started using yeah. charts, so I would like kind of look at the the overall news. <clears throat> so now after, after like about a month, I had like a a, a a a system in place now. Like instead of just blindly following the trends, yeah. I actually had like a system in place. Like it wasn't like a really technical system but it was something that like that was working what, what system um, is it are you using like any technicals to analyze it or yes, yes i use um some technicals i use the vwap and some of the simple moving averages okay like what help like, me uh figure out the entry points like what Ex what averages are you using um it was like the five day, SMA five day okay, okay. The 20 day SMA and then the vwap yeah, we're using yeah. nine and uh, nine EMA and uh, uh, the twenty SMA. Okay, I can hear you. What was it on? We're the the one I showed Chua is we're using the nine and the twenty. Okay. Nine, the yeah. uh, Bwap and you know your 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 twenty uh, your, your twenty SMA and, and uh, what is what are those by the way for the guys that doesn't know what what are they, what do they what do they um what do they look at. What does that do? Uh, nine is like a nine period, you know, uh, average of the nine last nine moving periods. Oh, okay. And so twenty nine, you, you you see the how many periods. So if you're looking at the one minute, then it's it's twenty minutes. If you're looking at the five minutes, then it's, it's uh, twenty times five. So two hours. <laughs> yeah. 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 So right now, right now we're using that because it's. Uh, the movement on spy if you're looking at a five minute chart it's it's basically a daily chart if you're okay at a 30 minute chart it's basically a weekly chart so you can uh, a gauge on what kind of movement you think it's going to make uh, just by using the, the one five and 30 right now for the spy so what you're saying there is kind of like it's like a pattern right from the from that technical it, it's kind of telling you a pattern right that's predictable right is that yeah. i mean it you know it'll give you you know everything you see is, is past right yeah you, you don't kind of see in the future but using using the past the, the price action of the past you can kind of uh have a little you know i guess probability of direction yeah gotcha. so yeah so there there's a, it's, a, it's a little comp more complicated than that but uh using you know uh bollinger bands and stuff uh you you can put all those together in, in a package and then see the probability of it going up and down uh that's why we wait 30 minutes before getting in a trade so you know we let the spy try to make a floor or you know try to make a high then we can, we can judge from there gotcha like what's did you know the probability of that like what is it like is there a probability number on that particular technical uh, probably no like maybe like 60 percent that is going to be accurate or um you know i'd say i say about 70 70 percent wow that's pretty high then but, but if you're, you're trading on a small time frame, <laughs> what's that you're trading on a small time frame so yeah yeah it happens really fast so sometimes i'll say hey you got 15 minutes on this on this trend down or you got 30 minutes on this trend up yeah so, so it's, it's a very short short entry and exit so, Really hey, come closer. I think your mic is kind of too far or something. How about now? Yeah, it's just kind of kind of far or something. So yeah, I wanna 
I want to touch a little because, like, I know you emphasize, like, Zong, you emphasize a lot on, um, like, exit strategies. Can you, like, wh what do you look at as far as that exit strategies? Because I know you guys always press for that because that's that can make you and break you, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. like, you, you want to enter where you have some kind of reference, right? So let's yeah. say, you know, you look at the, the open and, and the spy jumps up, let's say $5. You, and then it, it comes down, right? So you're not getting in on that first drop. You want to wait to see if it'll, because you you want to see if it come back, and if it's strong enough to to go past that. Yeah. So if if it can't go past that, then you know that it's going to be weak. So you can use that first reference as an exit strategy for your. Oh, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. Off that technical, right? Off that technical that you're talking about right or well, do you, are you no this is just kind of like a price action you're, you're oh, kind price of action. Okay. Action, yeah. gotcha gotcha so yeah so those of you guys who join um say hi to us let us know where you're, you're from and then uh post your questions though we want to have a fire round of questions at the end uh there's already a couple questions here uh but we're kind of going through what these guys done uh let's move on to like Okay, so let's just move on to like what you guys are doing. Like, what are you guys trading? Tra like trading now? How are you guys making money in this market right now? Right. Um, I guess any one of you guys want to jump in. How do you, how do you guys are making money right now? I mean, right now with the market the way it is, uh, you don't really have to focus too much on individual stocks. You okay. want to focus on. I mean, if you're trading, you want to focus on uh, just the index. Okay. Just, you know, it's a whole bunch of you know, like let's say this. The spy which is 500 stocks in the index or a little bit over it's not yeah. exactly 500 but uh, yeah you, you just focus on the index because everything's going to follow the index you'll have a couple that uh you know we call honey badgers which uh won't follow spy yeah but and if you want to trade those you can too but uh, basically right now just focus on the market um if you're a long-term investor, you know, just, and you got some stocks in there and you want to, you want to average down, you can, you can start averaging down. Yeah. Too. So. So now you guys are just saying you, your projections, the market is going down. You're kind of just saying, I'm just training the spy just to gain my, you know, profits at this point. Right. Cause you're, that's all, that's, that's what you're saying. Right. You're not uh, focusing on any particular. Yeah, if you're trading, yeah, you. That's. I mean, I. I just focus on the one. Just focus on one. Okay. Um, if, you're, if you have a long portfolio, and you you kind of want to, um, if you still want to hedge it, you can. You know, you there. You got SH out there. Uh, you know, you got. Um, you know, if you're if you're into tech, a lot of tech, then you got SQQ, Q. You know, so, you know you can hedge your stocks right now in case they go down further, where you. you you can try to get some back. Cool, cool. Well, about you, uh, Tong Sing, are you are you are you training anything particular? Well, as I said uh, a little bit earlier, I am just doing the futures for S and P, and I also do just spy. I don't do anything else. Uh, okay, and uh, and you do options for spy, right? Yes. Okay. Awesome. And I don't do complicated options like some of these other uh, <laughs> guys are doing. I just basically do naked calls and naked put. That's all. Naked calls, naked puts. That's it. That's it. That's all yeah. you need. That I, can you get in trouble with that? Like real quick, if something happens. Uh, uh, it actually means long calls and long puts, not naked. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just call and put. Uh, as long as you manage it well, as long as you know that it's not going your way and you exit uh, with a reasonable reasonable amount of um, uh, management in it, you should be yeah. fine. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey Zong, like, what's do you know like between spreads and puts? You know, like what what uh, what's better? Because he's doing puts and calls, right? But yeah. spreads. Uh, I know a few of you guys do spreads too. Like, what's what's better, a spread or a put? It depends on how the market's reacting. I mean, if you got a slow market, a spread a spread is much better. 
Yeah. That's, because you're, when you in a slow market, you're you're giving up time. So okay. you, so you're giving up time if you if you have a just a straight long long yeah. call or long put, uh, you're giving up time every day that uh, you hold on to it. Yeah. So what you do with the spread is you sell sell a either uh, a lower lower put or a higher call, and you can collect some of that time back by selling an option. Yeah. So, so there, it does a few things. One, it lowers your risk because you're, you're not paying so much for the spread, but you're, you're also capping your profit if you do, if you do hit the full max uh, spread. Yeah, so yeah. In this market, if you do a spread, you're, you're, you're likely capping your profits. Yeah, that's kind of what my trade was today. I, I did trade a spread and uh, it was, it, it was capped. So uh, yeah, like exactly what you're saying. Uh, there was a question. Uh, so it was kind of related to what we're, what we're doing here. Tina goes, what's one stock you, we should buy right now? And basically earlier you guys said that you guys are mostly trading spies, right? Kind of. Depend on what she's, uh, she's trying to do. Uh, if you want to hold long term, or if you're just going to do a, a quick day trade, yeah, uh, or a swing trade. Uh, right now, I wouldn't do any long trades or swing trades. Uh, but um, I mean, there there are some honey badgers out there. Uh, none that I can think of. You're talking about like what? Like what's the honey match? Give me a stock. What's the what's the honey match stock? Uh, I mean, you, you can't think of one, but like uh, you Zoom, you know, Zoom is has held through this whole all this whole drop. Zoom has held, so um, uh, that's what I call a honey badger. One that doesn't go with the market. Yeah, right. You see, a spy has dropped little bit over 30 percent and zoom is still zoom is still where it's it, it's at where it started when it wow started, so. okay yeah so i know you guys in that group you guys talk a lot about zoom so if you guys are in the group join the group and you can can see what they talk about every day um he he lean key boost that says uh good time to buy puts that's kind of what you guys are doing right buying puts yep uh yep. Yeah. So, yeah. Right now we're buying on any any pops. We're, we're, we're shorting down. So. Yeah. So like, like the futures right now are like up, right? So if tomorrow goes up, are you guys buying puts tomorrow? Yeah. It looks like it's uh, twenty four ninety right now. So it depends. Right at right at the morning, we'll see what it does. Like we'll we'll, we'll let it put in its floors. And then we'll, we'll trade off of that. Yeah. So explain that because that's, so when you say floor is like, what's the number of floor for you right, for, for right now? Do you have uh, well, I, I watch, you know, you watch a uh, pre-market, you know, the, oh, okay. And then you see where it, where it bottoms out and then where it tops out. Yeah. And then you can use those as references to, to trade as long, along with your uh, indicators, your moving averages and, and see, you know, uh, try to, you know, not guess, but have the best probability of where it's going. So let me clarify that. So what you mean by scalping is you're looking for a, a floor and the high within that 30 minute time frame when it first opens up, right? Yeah. I mean, you can look at pre-market just to find a, you know, a ceiling or a floor, but uh, uh, right at the market, I like to go off of that. So. Okay, and does it? I mean, what percentage of that changing? Like, is that is that pretty? Uh, right now, yeah, it, it's a pretty big, you know, swing from uh, top to bottom right now. So, I but mean, the, um, the chances of that like increasing that that channel, like the the high and the low, from the pre to um, the open within that thirty minutes, is that? Do you see that growing or or closing it a lot? Uh, Every day it kind of changes, you know, it just depends on the market. I mean, that, I mean, if it falls through the floor from pre market, you know, that thing's going to keep going. Okay. So you see a next, you know, you kind of see the next resistance. You try to go back in time and see what the next uh, support is, what the next resistance is. Uh, 
So, I mean, right now it, it, we've been looking in like every SMA that it, it drops to, it only holds a day before just falling right through it. So, wow. So. Okay. That's, that's good info right there. If you guys don't know what you just said that that's, uh, that's pretty good info right there. Um, so young, young says, Hey, great tip, pre-market highs and lows. So kudos to you on that. Uh, that's pretty cool. I just learned something on that today too. Um, What's another question? If guys, if you have any questions, post your comments below so these guys can answer. These guys trade daily. Uh, with They're from the Hong, Hong Investors Community Group. Uh, if you guys want to join the group, it's uh, it's a Facebook group. Just search for Hong Investors Community. Uh, they should show up and just join it. It's free. They're not charging you anything. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. I mean, so, come, you know, everybody come and join, you know, share your knowledge and you know, we all grow as a group so yeah took uh troy loss uh troy, man i hate to say it, man troy, troy loss what thirteen thousand or something right and then gain all back from these guys right from learning how to scalp right right troy? learn yeah. how to scalp like the way back yeah yeah so yeah lost about thirty thousand and uh learn how to uh scalp correctly play my position better manage my risk a lot better and just started building my uh, my account back up. Gotcha, gotcha. So the the other question is, do you guys play one position at a time or multiple positions from uh, Chai? <laughs> <laughs> I what personally you? just play one or two position, uh, mostly just one position because on a high flying market like the, for the last three four weeks you don't have time to look around for three four or five different positions and manage them all one or two is good enough for me gotcha what are you the same thing yeah i mean it, right now probably one but uh i am holding a few positions over but uh during the day it's only one okay and Joa, you too during the day i hold because we're, we're in a group so whoever sends me like a a good <laughs> ticker or, or or a good analysis and i'll look into it and i'll just play it so I, I i try playing like whatever comes my way whatever looks good and i try to just scalp real quick like i'll buy it as soon as it moves i'll just scalp and then go on to the next one so i have i usually have like four or five per day but okay. that's that's with like the confirmation of like some of the uh more experienced traders you know from the guys in the group the guys in the group yeah so yeah. That, that's the benefit of being in a group like you people scan for their own uh industries their own stocks and then they kind of like point it out like hey you know watch for this guy watch for this stock because it's because of this this event happening this it could lead to this so you kind of just kind of um analyze that a little bit if it looks good to you then you you play it and gotcha oh yeah like, like, go ahead. yeah like like today amd right you know we got you know yeah. got the news early and we're like hey okay watch amd mm -hmm. for a, you know a quick pop so is that what happened what was yeah. the what yeah. happened i mean we got a quick pop up and then uh uh i think when spice started heading down with you know that was the time to exit so so how did you get how, how did you get the pop was it just from the news yeah just a, a news so i mean how do you get the alerts to you uh, but that's a that's the power of the group everybody looks at you know everybody has their own yeah like, set of a uh, watch list yeah and then yeah. when when the news pop on their watch list, it's like hey amd has this going on or what yeah so that's like zon said that's the power of the group so you know we all make money together when we see something so uh, join the group guys uh i'm in the group love it you know love the interactions with you know i know we, sometimes they joke a lot in there yeah but it's hilarious too so <laughs> it makes it exciting <laughs> like i said it's not uh, anybody in need therapy it's the worst place to go to <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. uh let's see here let's see what i got so Ch uh chuku said just buy index and wait yeah that's kind of what you guys are doing but you guys are scalping so that you guys are uh doing that daily right so yeah, I mean, if you're if you're a, a long-term trader and you don't want to put a lot of time into it, you can just put it in the index and, and just, you know, uh, check back in like five, ten years and you should be good. 
<laughs> this one is long. How are you hedging your accounts or do you hedge? You guys don't hedge at all, right? You guys go right in and. Uh, my long account, I hedge with SH. So it's just a spy. Okay. Yeah. Just a short on spy. Gotcha. So are there any ETFs like uh, year that you recommend just doing straight? Uh, I'm not sure what that means, but um, yeah, you kind of just answer that's the money if you're looking the best. So Roddy, Roddy, Roddy knows ask if you're looking to invest 15, 15, 20 years is is now a good time or wait till it's levels out. You guys, you guys, you guys still think it's we got more ways to go, right? Uh, yeah, um, yeah, I think we got a, a little bit of ways to go. I can't explain it because we don't have a, a screen, but um, I'll post it on the Facebook group. Um, yeah. If you look at the, the you know, the, like I said, the corporate profits, they've been leveling since 2014. They haven't yeah. gone up, but their prices of the stock has gone up exponentially, you know, away okay. from the, the corporate profits. So. Gotcha. So, all right. Okay, cool. Uh, Boss says, uh, what's up, guys? All right. So, um, guys, if you have any questions left, we got about five minutes left. Uh, post your questions below. Uh, we're going to do a little, um, little um, man, I just lost my train of thought at what we're going to say. So, so, I can't think. I, I had him a tip of my tongue. So, anyway, so uh, let's, let's jump out with you. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So let's jump to like what you know, our last segment of the show is what would you guys do with one billion dollars? If I was to give you guys one billion dollars, right? So uh it's on saying what what do what would you do with one billion dollars if we give you one billion dollars? Well, I could do a lot with a billion dollars. Um <clears throat> I think that I would give away most of the money to charity. Give it away. Most of it, huh? Like how much is most? most? I mean, I am close to 50 years old. I probably keep uh, maybe 20, 30 million out of, out of that 1 billion. It's sufficient for me. Um, the others are probably to be given out to the needy people. Um, right. Probably set up a uh, 501c3 charity charitable organization of some sort and um, um, do projects and fund it for uh, not uh, to you know uh, fund it for uh, uh, what is needed out there gotcha. that would be something that i would i would be doing in a heartbeat gotcha all right zone what about you man i was give you a million dollars a billion dollars a billion dollars <laughs> <laughs> I'd turn it to two. <laughs> Ooh, damn. Um, but yeah, yeah. You know, I'd, I'd probably have to give it away. <laughs> All of it? Yeah, probably 99% maybe. Man, okay. You guys are good, lovely people. Good, mm -hmm. lovable. Oh, who are you, Chua? I think I would do what you're doing, Chai. Get some real estate. Damn, there we go. I think once they have like 10,000, 20,000 monthly residual income, then the rest you don't really worry too much about, you know? So I'll probably invest in real estate and then the access, like I can, you know, like, you know help out community. Yeah. Okay. So, the less fortunate, you know, go back to Thailand, help out some of the Hmong people over there. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Cool. Cool. I remember what I was supposed to ask you guys. So, so how do we get a hold of you guys? Um, that, was the, that was the last segment. Let me see. Any questions? Do, do you guys. Do you do short sale? What is short sale, guys? Do you guys know what that is? Well, sell short, I guess. That's kind of what they're, they're saying. Yeah, okay. yeah. We, we use the we use options to leg leverage our shorts down. Yeah. Okay. So we, we, we do buy long puts. Uh, some of the guys buy uh, you know long you know spreads, spread puts. Uh, I think Kang does that. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Uh, two more questions. Uh, Hi, big Mong millionaires and future millionaires. What platform and brokers are you guys using? Well, right now, most of us use Thinkorswim yeah. through TD and Ray Trade. Okay. All three of you guys? Well, yeah, yeah. Now I probably use the same platform because Schwab did buy 
TOS. So <laughs> let's combine it. Yeah. Okay. I think most of us have multiple accounts. One like for long term, another one to kind of like uh, play do lottos or play um, scalps. I think Robin is really good for day day trading for scalps because they don't have any uh, any commissions or any costs. Gotcha. But it's not good to play big position because they have like they have a lot of like uh, bugs on the back end, so you don't want to be stuck when you're uh, holding a big big position. Like what what happened to Robinhood that day where they couldn't trade? Yeah, you couldn't trade because there's too much uh three like, days in a row. Robinhood was frozen for yeah. a long time. The whole day. <laughs> so it's good to have do you guys recommend having multiple accounts or, or uh, you, yeah, I mean, you you want an account for your long portfolio? Okay. Yeah, because it you know uh, like I tell the guys, you know, your long portfolio is gonna build you wealth and then your trading account is going to give you income so. gotcha gotcha all right so thank you guys for doing this i think we're out of questions here but uh how do we get a hold of you uh we'll start with you uh don't say well you can always go to my uh facebook page which is joa n the letter n not the n in percent sign joa yeah. n don't sing and uh, just message me from there Okay, and we'll tag you guys. We'll tag you, and I think we already I already tag your all your uh, profiles on on the video. Uh, uh, Zong, Zong's an admin of that group, right? So I guess Zong they can get a hold of you from the Facebook profile and the group. Is that right? Yep, yep. Just the Hmong communities. Uh, I'm sorry, Hmong investors community. Yeah, we have a chat group, uh, but. Um, I guess Facebook remove where you can put the chat link in there. So just uh, PM one of us and we'll add you to the group, the chat group, if you're, you know, you, you trade during the day. Yeah. Yeah. And those guys are always talking in there. <laughs> way, yeah. way early in the morning. So, and uh, Chua, how about you? Yeah. Just uh, uh, DM me on, on my Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. You'll, you'll tag me. So if anybody needs to get in touch, just send me a uh, direct message gotcha all right and then the last question the future saying for tomorrow the futures are up uh for va right and that's it guys hey appreciate you guys are joining uh you just want to spill some info about how you know you guys are making money in the markets uh i know we talked a little about just you know small numbers but i'm seeing i'm seeing pictures of profits that you guys are posting in the group and i'm like wow you guys are you know you guys are really hustling in there so uh those of you guys have not joined the group and wants to learn and wants to you know get involved uh just join the group uh like no charge you know and learn from there so uh thanks you guys again for joining uh maybe we'll check back again when the market tanks more and see how much you guys have made <laughs> but uh weeks three weeks or a month from now yeah to see how you know i'm sure it's gonna be a lot i'm kind of thinking the same way too and you know um if there's more feedback uh more demand we'll bring you guys back on and see how you guys what else you guys are doing so thanks you guys for, again for sharing your info all right yeah, all right guys all right guys adios keep up one all right yeah. have a good night yep. good night <laughs>